what's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand neuropathic ulcers so that you can identify and treat them in your patients, and also pass the NPTE. As the name suggests, the main cause of these wounds is neuropathy, or when you can't feel your feet. These patients won't know it if they get a rock in their shoe, and they'll walk around with it all day. Over time, that rock can cause little tears in the skin and create bigger and bigger wounds. Since neuropathy is a common symptom of diabetes, these wounds are also called diabetic wounds. These patients will usually have vascular problems, creating a similar presentation to arterial wounds in that the wounds will be small, dry, and ischemic. These patients will also have an unreliable ABI due to the stiffness of their arteries. These wounds usually occur on the weight-bearing surfaces of the foot, so the metatarsal heads or the heel and as such are usually surrounded by a calloused rim. Because of the vascular issues, these wounds can often become chronic and develop into really, really deep, serious wounds that involve extensive tunneling and undermining, just like pressure ulcers. As these patients continue to walk around on these wounds, the body will start to show signs of deterioration, such as inflammation, bone deterioration, subluxation, and fractures. This can lead to what's known as a charco foot or a rocker foot presentation. With this level of destruction, infections like osteomyelitis can easily get into the area and make the wound even slower to heal. That said, it is your responsibility as a physical therapist to educate your patient on the importance of checking their foot every day for wounds good foot hygiene, so making sure their foot is clean and dry, uh, making sure they have appropriately fitting shoes. You don't want them too tight, otherwise they can start rubbing against the sides of that shoe and creating wounds. Once the wound is formed, offloading is going to be key to getting rid of that wound, uh, and if it gets really serious and chronic, you may want to include a wound vac as well. The severity of these wounds is often recorded via the Wagner scale, which is similar to staging and pressure ulcers, but it's off just a little bit. The University of Texas has an ulcer classification system that's also used on these types of wounds to predict whether an amputation will be necessary. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, Three, two, one. Of all the metatarsal heads, the second bears the most weight. The metatarsals are slightly more at risk than the heel as they are farther from the heart, decreasing blood supply just enough to make a difference. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy. Otherwise, you can drop me a comment with questions or suggestions on videos I should do in the future. Good luck studying, go change the world.